Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction. A nice big kind of lunchbox Pelly box in front of me today. And that's from Boulder Supply Co. This is the Free Diver, the new dive watch in a smaller uh, kind of diameter and smaller size. A much more compact watch compared to some of their other Odyssey models. The Free Diver comes in this nice box as you can see here. Nice rubberized handle. I really like the handle here. Good guys on... Good, oops, little hair there for my dog. Um, but yeah, good job on the handle. Anyway, uh, pops open. Just like that. And inside we do have the watch, as you can see here. And this is the red dial variant, which is uh, pretty cool. Look at this. Wow. I've never actually uh, reviewed a red dial watch. Can you believe that? This is the first. It comes with your warranty in uh, inside here with the polishing cloth. Pretty simple. Close this back up and let's look at the watch. And there she is in the flesh, as you can see. This is the brand new Odyssey Freediver from Boulder Watch Company, based out of, I believe they're in Singapore. And, yeah, I believe it's Singapore. And uh, this one comes in at 649 US dollars. There's always a discount code for like 20% or $20 off on their website, uh, which I will drop a link in the description below if you like this watch. You can check them out after this video. Anyway, some specifications. We get a 40 millimeter sandblasted solid 316L stainless steel case. We do get, um, a 48 lug to lug, uh, which is pretty nice. 40 millimeters, 48 millimeters lug to lug. In terms of case thickness, it is only 14 millimeters, which is uh, not all that bad. Very cool design on this case. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Zelo swatches and um, some of the Seiko Samurai, I believe. I've never owned the Samurai, but it kind of looks like that a little bit. Um, but yeah, not a homage watch or anything like that. Just kind of has those nice, interesting shapes and some cool polishing as well. If you didn't notice that, I've never seen that. So they did a sandblasting, but they polished little angles of it. Now getting in a little closer on a macro level, I wanted to show you guys this red dial. It's grading as you can see, and it gets darker at the edges and it's a bit lighter towards the center portion of the dial. Boulder logo over there at the 12 o'clock position, Odyssey 300 meters. So this is a true dive watch. I'm gonna get you in a a little bit closer. We have those typical boulder hands, which are pretty typical. And then we have an orange tip sweeping seconds hand. Your date window is down at the six o'clock position, as you can see there, um, which is in a kind of dark black color, which kind of matches the outer portion of the dark red dial. Then you have these kind of button polished markers, as you can see going around the dial here, which is something new from boulder I haven't seen before. So good to see that they're trying out new things. Um, but yeah, then you have your numerals printed all around the dial. There's a lot of loom on this watch. We have a loomed ceramic brushed bezel as well. The loom is always good on Boulder watches, so I'm probably uh, sure it's going to look pretty good on video. Now this watch is 300 meters water resistant, and they do say it, it does fulfill the modern ISO 6425 standard criteria with 100 meters visible dial and five minute markers in between and anti-magnetic and resistant to shock and corrosion from seawater. Now it's not an actual ISO rated watch, it just fulfills those demands. So uh, take it how you want it, uh, that's what they state on their website. Now the watch itself is completely sandblasted as you can see here, and it's very nice. We have an oyster style screw link bracelet, which is actually really nice. I've never actually taken a look at any of Boulder's bracelets before, it's always been on the strap when I've owned one of their watches. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice bracelet, very nice here with screws, very fluid, no issue with that. You get a clasp here signed with the Boulder logo, two button flip open to a milled clasp. As you can see here, taking a look at the case back, they always put some interesting design or art that they put on their back, which is embossed, very detailed. Interesting, they put quick release pins, so you can pop this bracelet off uh, really quick. No need for drilled lug holes if you have a quick release bracelet, right? Screw down case back with some basic specifications and uh, stainless steel, of course. And yeah, um, the bezel itself is a brushed loomed ceramic bezel. Very nice. Very good grip as well as you can see there, are these nice notches, which looks like the crown. See, it looks like it's two pieces. Like the crown looks like it's two pieces. Really cool. See how that matches? Anyway, it's 120 clicks, very nice. Really no back play. And everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position, so no issues with that whatsoever. Nice railroad track going around here for the minute markings, uh, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the movement inside, we're getting the Miyota 9015, which is a high beat automatic Japanese movement. Um, most of you guys are familiar with this movement. If you're not, it's a uh, 28,800 beat rate, which is 4 hertz. Same as an Edit 2824 Salita SW200. We get hand winding, we get hacking. 
And these are relatively accurate. I like these movements way better than the NH35s. They're a bit more reliable from my um, experiences, I would say. And of course, I do like the higher uh, beat rate, which provides a smoother sweep of that second's hand. So first position, I unscrewed the crown. Very easy to unscrew, very grippable. You can self-wind it, pop it out one position. Quick set date, no issues there. Final position, we can set the time here. Set it to 10-10. Push that back in and screw it back down. So yeah, no issues there whatsoever. Usually some of these, you can feel the movement. Because this is a bi-directional rotor, but you don't even feel it. You don't feel the uh, rotation of the rotor in this exact watch, which is really nice. I don't know what they did. Maybe they, I don't know, but you just don't feel it. And uh, <laughs> that's always a good thing with the 9015. And uh, yes, yeah, let's get into a nice loom shot of this watch and I'll throw it on my wrist, see how it looks. I'll give you some thoughts on it and let you know what I think. By the way, this watch does have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Of course, at this price point, you would expect that. And uh, the anti-reflective coating is pretty good. As you can see, the light is on it right now. And yeah, it's doing its job, I assume. And as you can see, guys, the loom is very nicely applied or filled. And yeah, that's BGW9, that glows blue, very bright on the hands, very neatly applied on the numerals and the bezel as well. Very, very legible, uh, really nice. I think that looks pretty cool with the numerals, how the 12 and 3 and 9 is bigger than some of the other numerals. I think that looks pretty cool. But as you can see, it's not fading anytime soon, and it's pr quite potent. That's BGW9 Blue Loom, some of the best loom you can get. Now there's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see. And their new dimensions definitely fit my wrist a lot better than their previous Odyssey models. My wrist is only 6.5 inches, but those new dimensions really help the watch wear quite nice on the wrist. And it's quite comfortable. I definitely like that red dial look. It's not like a full bright crimson red. It's more of a lighter red, and then it becomes more of a black red towards the outer portion of that dial, uh, which is really quite nice. And then you have the more kind of neutral red color on the actual bezel insert which is brushed ceramic. Now about the loom, they do say it's Swiss Superluminova. I'm not sure if that means BGW9. So you can just say it's Swiss Superluminova. Um, but I do, know, I do know that BGW9 um, is Swiss made as well. So I'm not exactly sure about that. I will drop it in the comment section below after I find that out. Uh, but anyway, the bracelet is comfortable. I like those little chamfered sides with the, where you can see the polished stainless steel on each side. Um, nice sapphire crystal under anti-reflective coating. Very, very, very legible dial. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new Boulder Odyssey Free Diver with the red dial. I think it's a very well-made watch. There are no quality control issues. Um, they really do have their stuff down with the quality control. I've never received a Boulder watch with an issue. Um, nothing with a crown issue, bezel issue, bracelet issue, or anything like that. They really do thoroughly check their watch, and I guess that's where the price comes into at $649. US You're getting a very high quality product, um, but we, of course in this one we do have the 9015, which is a very high quality movement as well. You're getting all those essentials which us micro brand enthusiasts are really looking for these days, such as these loomed ceramic bezel, loomed hands, um, loomed markers and such, a nice bracelet with screws, uh, two or three hundred meters of water resistance, and yeah, nice packaging as well with that kind of uh, Pelly box with the handle. And this one is a very unique design. I really like what they've done here with the lugs, how it's kind of, these small details really do it for me. I don't know about you. As you can see, the bezel kind of matches the crown with the double piece. It's not actually two pieces, but uh, they put those little sl uh, slices there so it looks like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of nice small details and I really do like the color of this watch. I definitely need a red dial watch in my collection after wearing this one for a couple days. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual of the new Boulder Freediver. I will drop a link to their website in the description below. They have a lot of different models and um, you can also check out the Expedition. That one, I really, really like that watch. That is the dual um, crown watch. It's kind of like a super compressor. Uh, you can check back in my log. I definitely... Uh, have a nice review of that one. So let me know what you guys think as usual. Definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and yeah, we'll talk down there more. A lot of interesting stuff coming soon. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.